Hey, what's going on guys? Chris back with you with another review video and it's a huge box so I've actually left it downstairs. Well, I'll tell you the honest truth, it's already mounted and installed. I've already thrown away the box, but I took a piece of the box here because the box is so big, but I will be reviewing in this video. This is going to be for the Flexi Mounts Garage Storage Unit. You guys know what I'm talking about, the units that are actually up above your cars in the garage. They're white racks. They also come in black, I believe. The company sells black and white. But with my white garage walls, white blends in a little bit better than having black racks. But if you have a high-tech game man cave and it's black or something like that, then get black. It'll blend in really nicely. Again, just like all my video review videos, guys, in the description box below, I'm going to have this linked up so you guys know exactly where to get it and read more about it because if I'm doing a review, most of you guys are getting excited about it and they're like, well, where do we get it? So I always make it easy for you guys, especially you guys in the UK as well. I believe the company sells in the UK. I always got you guys linked up as well. If not, one very similar to it for you guys in the UK. So guys, again, the Flexi Mounts and this model is the four by six. They also offer a lot of different sizes, but I have a one car garage. And I actually went down there with a measuring tape and I'm like, you know what? I could get away with the biggest one they offer, which is I believe a four by eight or six by eight. I'm not exactly sure. I'll have other ones linked down below as well. But I chose the four by six, meaning that you can flip it around in different angles. You could have it six long, four wide, or six wide, four long. It just depends on your studs in your walls. And again, it's pretty easy. Once you find one stud, then you just measure across, drill another hole, and if you don't hit it, measure across. But my personal garage is there 16 inches across the different studs above my condominium. Your house might be a little different, so make sure that you get a proper stud finder. I'll, again, I'll link that in the description box below so you guys can tell exactly where your studs are before you buy it. So anyway, guys, an awesome rack. It's already mounted up. I'll even show you a little bit of the installation process in this video, but very, very nice, awesome rack, guys. So without further ado, again, this is the model GR46, and it is adjustable at different heights. I do mention that in the video. And so again, this is just the introduction of the video. And so let's go ahead and show you now the installation and what it looks like. All right guys, so here's the racks right here. And again, my flexi mount right here. And again, the box is gonna be large, so you definitely wanna have somebody available for pickup or available to put it in your garage. Of course, a one-man operation is very easy, but again, nicely packaged, has all the plastic in here, it looks great. But again, the box is pretty large, so definitely you want to have an area where you want to stash it at. Here is another TV stand by the same company I will be reviewing later on, stacked up against the sunglass case there. As you can see, the size of the box. But what we have here, guys, is we're going to unpackage this, and we are going to be, of course, hanging this directly above us right here. I will be most likely going from the back of the garage chain box here, the motor box, to this right here. This was a makeshift operation from another renter, but we are going to be putting it right here in this area right here. So we will be digging through this box. And of course, I believe right under here is all our mounting screws and hardware. So that is absolutely fantastic. So I'll be back with you guys in a little bit. And also guys, remember that with the 4x6, and this again is the model GR46, it has a max weight capacity of 450 pounds. It has a matte finish powder coated steel frame, coal rolled steel, and the height is adjustable, which is absolutely phenomenal, from 22 inches to 39.8 height adjustment. And the total length is gonna be 72 inches or 1,831 millimeters, 47 by seven inches or 1,212 millimeters. And then of course the height is adjustable by 22 inches through 39.8 inches or 560 millimeters through 1,010 millimeters. And then your bracket size right here is gonna be 8.3 inches or 210 millimeters per bracket. So that is absolutely fantastic. We're looking forward to putting this up. All right, guys, take a look at this. We are one little section done right here. Well, not completely quite yet, but again, I'm taking the four by six right through this area right here. I'll show you a couple tips and tricks. I'm not actually, of course, putting the whole thing up. I'm a one-man operation here. So I'm not putting the whole thing up against the ceiling all by myself. I'm actually doing it in stages. I put the posts up first here and here. And then what I did 
is I just put this up here. Then I added this one here and my studs are about 16 inches apart as was yours might be similar distance, but again, use a stud finder, a good one, or you, you might wanna do the uh, drill test, just drill through. Now, again, I had a little bit of a spacing between my drywall and my actual wood. It's almost like it just is about just a tiny, tiny bit. So I was actually poking holes through and I wasn't finding the stud until I actually drilled in there pretty deep. And so I'm really good now using, of course, the wood mount screws. Now, again, if you are gonna be putting it inside of a fully cemented ceiling, then you wanna use these ones right here. But again, I'm putting it in my studs and I'm using these bolts right here. Everything is absolutely fantastic. I am using a level to make sure that I have it lined up correctly. I am using my drill bits and my battery powered drill right here. I'll go ahead and link in the description box. But again, guys, it's going very well. It's just finding the studs is probably the hardest thing to do. But again, once you find one, and then if you know that they're 16 inches or whatever across, then I'm just going 16 inches, 16 inches. Now I did have to actually see this one right here. I actually had, uh, see this one's in the middle of the bolt right there. This one, the bolt is on this side, and then the bolt is over here all the way on the right into the stud there. And that's able to hold the bracket and then I'm able to line it up. So you have to kind of play around with it a little bit and then adjust it whatever length you want. I wanted it just a tiny bit lower than this wooden one here because I just need a little bit extra space. Of course, my BMW is gonna go straight back here. Plenty of room for the trunk to come up even so. And so that is absolutely looking fantastic. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have finished it. Absolutely fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Now, probably the hardest thing, like I mentioned earlier in the video, was finding the first stud and then 16 inches. But I spread these over 32 inches, 32 inches, 32 inches. Now, let me show you one little last problem I had here. Now, as you can see here, you're looking at a couple different little mounts there. Okay, I used the actual screw, but for some oddball reason, I couldn't find a stud. There was actually like a very thin sheet of what probably looked like just metal. And that's probably, you know, a divider between the garage walls or whatnot. I'm not exactly sure the closer you get to the garage here. Now, I went ahead and just drilled straight through it, but I actually, it wasn't into an actual stud, so I wanted to be careful. It actually screws in. I believe there's plywall behind it as well, but I took extra precautions. There is a third bolt. The third bolt is a little bit loose, but I just said, you know what, precaution. Let's just throw a couple more in there. I had some more bolts around, but as long as you mount this in the precise, correct, of course, a two-car garage is gonna be a lot better, but I just, for some reason, ran into a thin sheet of metal right up here and don't worry there's nothing important behind there it's just again separation of the plywall drywall whatever so this is it guys right here and absolutely looking fantastic up to 450 pounds have my drill and hammer up there i'm absolutely looking forward to stacking this with some organization which i'll grab on film for the last portion of this video and then we will wrap it up upstairs guys but overall a great great mount you might have to have a couple little extras if you run into any issues like i did there but of course, I do have leftover bolts and I have leftover screws. This is all the bolts and screws that I have left over here. They give you some extras. Now, something I also did come in problem with was that I actually had to use a couple of these ones that are not rounded, that are like this. I actually had to use them for the actual, you're supposed to use the round tops for these, but I actually had, I ran out, so I had to use those for that. So let me show you a couple tips of the trade here. Okay, so bolts go between them here and here. Of course here, and then here and here. Each joist lines up, two bolts there. Joist again, two bolts. Corner joist has this one here. Now you want to again put a bolt there, and then a bolt there facing inwards and outwards. And I do have a couple extra, so if you really felt required to, you could put some more bolts in that for the adjustments, just in case. But guys, absolutely fantastic, very, very sturdy. I'm absolutely thrilled with it. Definitely a great product. And if you are wondering about the size here, I actually have gone nine notches down. And so a bolt, a bolt. Again, counting the bolts, there's nine notches and it hangs down nice and even here. Of course, we can go down a lot further than that, but I have kept it a little bit up off the ground. Now you could probably come again, it's a very quite a long distance. 
as you can see here, I could put this bolt all the way up here to the top here and have a good solid, maybe seven more inches coming on down. But again, I have a car that I need to put in here and raise up the trunk, so I want to keep it off the ground. So of course I don't bang my head, I'm a short guy, but you definitely don't want to have an issue with it. So guys, that is the look of it. Well guys, since I last left you, here it is. Take a look at that organization at its finest. Alrighty guys, back with you, and that was an awesome, awesome product, guys. I'm stoked about it. It has brought a lot of stuff up off of the garage floor. My plastic containers, being able to mount that right above. Now, I'm not gonna personally test the 450 pound limit. Right now, I'm sitting at about probably maybe 250 pounds. I could add plenty more weight to that, but again, I don't wanna test it because I don't want it to come down on my car. Now, of course, that's not gonna happen. As long as you're in the studs, guys, it will be fine, but definitely don't push the 450 limit because you don't want to have any accidents happen. So just be careful with the 450 limit. So get your Christmas decorations off the garage floor, get your extra wiring, get some of your hand tools, whatnot. And also something to keep in mind, guys, is that I forgot if I mentioned it earlier in the video or not, but something to keep in mind is that if you are gonna be using plastic containers like I have up there right now, you gotta be careful because the metal is a little slippery right here, meaning that if you shove it too far, it'll just kind of slide right off. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Something you can do to fix that, go to the dollar store, buy some bungee cords, and through the little hooks in the little rails that go up to the ceiling, put some bungee cords there across it, almost like a preventative slippery thing, just in case an earthquake happened. If you live in California, I live in California, the earthquake would push the plastic box to the edge and the bungee cord would actually sit right here and prevent the box from pushing off onto your cars below, guys. So that is something to keep in mind, a preventative measure right there. Well, guys, a beautiful product. I am so sincerely stoked upon that. And guys, again, look in the description box below, Flexi Mounts, I'll link up the different sizes below, and also the stud finder, and what else did I mention? Ah, I might even link up the bungee cords, but you guys have an awesome day, and if this review has helped you out in any possible way, shape, or form, a much appreciative like or thumbs up in the Amazon or YouTube platform would be much appreciative, and also subscribe to the channel, Tips In and Tricks, because I'm gonna be reviewing a lot more videos, a lot more products, Coming to you soon, guys, so stay tuned for that. I will see you guys on the next review. My name is Chris. Bye-bye.